It's the way in, call up and you weigh in. Now we get to talk about everything you're saying. Analyzing topics, dropping knowledge, we ain't playing. When you think it's about to end, should we crank it up again? Hold up. Hold up. What up, what up, what up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your first time to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please feel free to smash the subscribe button to be a part of the family and hit the bell icon so you can notify that when we go live. Also, leave a comment on any of the topics that you see we talk about on this channel. Leave a comment because definitely we be uh going back and forth and discussing boxing and tell a friend to tell a friend that you're having fun over here talking boxing. We building this family and this community together. YouTube, what's going on? All the videos we do is for educational purposes. We just like to talk about the sport of boxing, what we love and what we see in it and how we like to see it grow and move forward. And now we talking about Wilder Fury 3 fight week, man. Wilder Fury 3 fight week. And one of the fights on the card that I want to talk about is this fight right here. Robert Hellenius versus Adam Kovnaki 2. Now, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you right now. The first fight ended in a knockout. Robert Hellenius knocked out Adam Kovnaki in the fourth round. And that was for the WBA gold heavyweight title. Um, now they get an opportunity to do it again. Now, Adam Kovnaki... Alias the baby face. I'm gonna say assassin, uh, but it's the baby face nationality. He's from Poland. He's an orthodox fighter standing six feet three inches with a 76 inch arm reach. He resides in Brooklyn, New York, but you know, by way of Poland. His record was 20 victories, 15 of them by way of knockout. His only defeat is to Robert Hellenius. And that was his last fight. They got into the ring uh, March 7, 2020. So over a year, they're about to get back in there and do it again. Um, the last fight was at the Barclays Center. This time it's on a big card. The atmosphere is going to be absolutely tremendous. It's going to be thick in there in terms of animosity, in terms of high energy, in terms of suspense. And the suspense is whether or not Adam Kovnaki can change his ways, has come forward, not moving his head, rarely using his jab. I'm just going to take punches in the face. Not against this big puncher in Robert Hellenius. Robert Hellenius, on the other hand, um, is from Finland. His alias is the Nordic Nightmare. Um, Orthodox fighter standing six feet, six inch and a half with a 79 inch arm reach. His record is 30 victories. 19 of those 30 victories by way of knockout. Three defeats, two of those three, uh, two of the three defeats came by way of knockout. Uh, again, he put on a sensational performance over Adam Kovnaki, and, and he dropped him in the fourth round, and he was not able to recover. His birthplace is Stockholm, Sweden, but he resides in, like what he likes to call it, in the mountainside, in, in, in the small village where it's clean air, fresh everything over there in Finland, and he's living the dream. Now, I don't know about you guys, but let me know in the comments section, who do you think has made or will be making the biggest improvements in this fight? Adam Kovnaki, will he come forward with smart pressure or will he continue with that come forward, not moving his head pressure? Will he go back to what he's used to doing when he gets hit? And 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 how will Robert Hellenius do it differently with Adam adding these things that he didn't add in the first fight? Doing it in the second fight, will it become a difference for him? We know it's heavyweights and one punch can change it um, at any time. Uh, or will we see the same result we've seen in the first fight just either sooner or later from Robert Hellenius? Is he just a bigger fighter with a bigger punch with more experience over a young Adam Kovnaki in the boxing game? We're just going to have to wait and see and find out. But we this should be the second fight um, on this all pay-per-view heavyweight card for Deontay Weller and Tyson Fury 3. Y'all let me know in the comment section. If this is one of those other fights that uh, that you're looking forward to, can Adam Kovnaki take a second loss and still bounce back in time 
to maybe attend for a heavyweight title? That is the question right there. Will he get another shot at a heavyweight title if he takes his second loss? How far down the ladder does he slide? And if Hellenius does win this fight, who next? Who's next for Robert Hellenius? Do you guys believe in the heavyweight division? So if you don't know, Robert Hellenius was training with Deontay Wilder in his camp. Pretty much he was down in Alabama in the heat training in the same gym. Might have got a little bit of work with him, but he was training with other people. Obviously the size of Kovnaki and the movement so he can prepare for it. And Adam Kovnaki was preparing with Otto Wallin, and Otto Wallin is supposed to be taking on Dillian White October 30th um, in the UK. So heavyweights are working with one another. We've seen Jared Big Baby Anderson and F.A. Ajaba fought, sparring together. Um, the same thing with uh, Stephen Big Shot Shaw sparring with Frank Sanchez and Andy Ruiz over there at uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez's gym. It's beautiful to see that the boxing, the fighters are coming together. They're working together. Let's see if they can put it all in line. The heavyweight division is making a turn. We're having more and more and more great fights in the heavyweight division. And it's good to see. It's not just two or three or four that's sitting at the top of the heavyweight division, but you're starting to see a young crop of heavyweights coming through and, and, and they can actually fight. And they're putting on great shows for everybody to enjoy. Um, so now we can stack cards. We can have great heavyweight cards with great cruiserweight, light heavyweight, super middleweight, middleweight, 154, super, super welterweight, welterweight, super lightweight. You understand what I'm saying? Those type of fights you can start to build now because we have enough, you know, heavyweight. You know, heavyweight boxing is the crown jewel of the boxing game. We got to love it. The big boys, they know how to, you know what I'm saying, drop the hammer on one another and, and fight at any time. You come to see knockouts when you come to a fight. So shout out to you out there, man. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. We just want to give you all the information on this fight. This is the second. This is the rematch. Will it go any other way? Will it be Adam's turn or will it be Hellenius' turn? Put in the comment section who you're riding with, Robert Hellenius or Adam Kovnaki. What round you see it? Is it decision or knockout? You let us know. We appreciate it. Again, it's Francis from the Wayne. Boxing with Francis and Greg. And we thank you so very much. We appreciate you. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend to smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you for the live fight chat on Saturday for this tremendous fight. We're definitely going to be doing this one right here. And peace and love to everybody. Y'all stay safe. Catch you on the next one.